The broadcast of the regular meeting of the Minneapolis Zoning Board of Adjustment will now begin. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to this live broadcast of our virtual meeting today, May 7th, 2020. This meeting includes the remote participation of members as authorized under Minnesota statutes, section 13D.021, due to the declared local health pan pandemic. For the record, my name is Matt Perry. I'm chair of the Zoning Board of Adjustment. I will now call this meeting to order and ask the clerk to call the roll so that we may verify the presence of quorum. Cooper. Here. Finlayson. Aye. Hutchins. Here. Johannesson. Aye. Ogiba. Here. Perry. Here. Sandberg. Here. Softly. Aye. Wang. Here. That's nine members. Thank you. OK, with that, we have quorum. Uh, so let's proceed to our agenda, a copy of which was posted for public access to the city's legislative information management system available at lims.minneapolis.gov. Is there a motion to approve this agenda? So moved, Finlayson. Second, Sandberg. It's moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? I see none. Will the clerk please call the roll? Cooper. Aye. Finlayson. Aye. Hutchins. Aye. Johannesson. Aye. Ogiba. Yes. Perry. Yes. Sandberg. Yes. Softly. Aye. Wang. Yes. Thank you. That's nine. And with that, the motion passes and the agenda is approved. I believe all the board members have seen a copy of the minutes from the April 23rd, 2020 Zoning Board of Adjustment meeting. Is there a motion to approve? So moved, Sandberg. Is there a second? Second, Johannesson. It's moved and seconded. Is there any discussion on the motion? This is Finlayson. I abstain. I did not receive a copy, even though I was present at the meeting. OK, so there's one abstention. Um, and with that, the motion is passed. The minutes from the Zoning Board of Adjustments April 23rd, 2020 meeting are approved. Mr. Ellis, are there any petitions or communications? Chair Perry, members of the board, there are no petitions or communications this evening. Thank you. OK, let's review the agenda. I'll read the agenda number and the address of the project and state whether it's slated for consent, continuance, withdrawal, return or discussion. And I'll just quickly. Um, oh, I'm sorry, we didn't vote, Mr. Hutchins. On the last uh, item, we didn't vote on it. Do we have to do a roll call vote for that? That's yes, we do. There's no feed on the computer. Could we please do a roll call vote on that? I'm sorry. Absolutely. Cooper. Aye. Finlayson. Abstain. Hutchins. Aye. Johannesson. Aye. Ogiba. Yes. Perry. Yes. Sandberg. Yes. Softly. Aye. Wang. Yes. Thank you. That's okay. eight. Now, now that we have a, <laughs> a vote, that motion is approved and we do have approved minutes from our April 23rd meeting. So let's move on. 
Um, let's review the agenda. I'll read the agenda number and address of the project and state whether it's slated for consent, continuance, withdrawal, return, or discussion. Um, I'll just describe these quickly. Consent items are those items that will be passed without discussion by the board. We'll be adhering to the staff recommendation found on your agenda under the items recommended motion section. Any applicable conditions will be listed in the same section. If you agree with this recommendation, including any applicable conditions, you need to do nothing and the board will pass it as recommended. Please check in with a staff member assigned to that item if you have any questions following the decision. If you disagree with the recommendation, please indicate you'd like to speak against the item when I ask and we'll put it on the discussion agenda. Continuance or withdrawals. These are um, continuance items are those that will be held over until a future meeting of the Zoning Board of Adjustment. Uh, withdrawals are applications that have been withdrawn. If continued, I will be stating whether the what the date is that the item is being recommended to be continued to. Discussion items are those items the board will take public testimony, deliberate on, and make a decision. After the public testimony has been heard for each particular discussion, I will close the public hearing for that agenda item. Once I close the public hearing for an item, no additional public testimony will be taken, but staff may be asked to address board questions. After the public hearing for an item is closed, board members will then discuss and act on motions. The chair only votes in the case of a tie. So we have agenda item number five, which is 5960 Clinton Avenue. This item is being withdrawn. Approval of the agenda with this item on it acknowledges this and no further action on the part of the board is required. Agenda item number six is 5721 Harriet Avenue. Staff is recommending this item for consent. Is there anyone on the in the phone queue that wants to speak against this item? I know the applicant is on the phone, but I assume you are happy with the item being on consent. I don't think anybody else is in the queue, so we'll uh, note that as staff recommending this item being for consent. Agenda item number seven is 4736 and 4740 Grand Avenue South. Staff is asking this item be continued until our May 21st, 2020 meeting, which is one cycle. And we can discuss this when we um, uh, review requested continuances. So let's just look at our continuance agenda. That's agenda item number six. Is there a motion to adapt this item on consent? So moved. so moved. This is Sandberg. Is there a second? Second, Finlayson. Finlayson is seconded the motion. Sandberg moved it. Is there any discussion on the motion? I'm seeing none. All in favor of the motion? I should say, will the clerk, clerk please call the roll? Thank you. Cooper. Aye. Finlayson. Aye. Hutchins. Aye. Johannesson. Aye. Ogiba. Yes. Sandberg. Yes. Softly. Aye. Wang. Aye. That's eight yay. Thank you. And so that motion passes. If you were here for or on the phone for agenda item number six, your land use request is approved. Good luck with your project. Let's go on to uh, items for continuance. This is a, we have a little bit of a procedure we need to follow here. Agenda item number seven is 4736 and 4740 Grand Avenue South. The uh, staff is requesting this item be continued until May 21st, 2020 uh, Zoning Board of Adjustment meeting, which is one cycle. Um, the clerk sent out a memorandum, which hopefully all of you had a chance to review, but I'd like to staff to, to just give a quick highlight on why the, uh, they're uh, requesting continuance of this item. Good evening, committee members. Um, staff is requesting continuance of this item at the request of the 
appellant who had identified some uh, issues with the notice period. Um, while the notice that was prepared for the neighborhood group was dated appropriately, it appears via the the um, the posted or postage date that the notice was not sent out until several days later. Um, and per section 521.150 of the zoning code, um, neighborhood groups are required to receive uh, receive notice 21 days before the hearing. And so, due to the delay at the copy center uh, getting the notice to the neighborhood group. Um, that 21 day period was not met and so staff is recommending continuance to the to by one cycle to ensure that all the required notice periods are uh, sufficient for this item. Great, thanks for that highlight. Any questions of staff? I'm seeing none. So um, is there anyone here would like to speak in favor of continuing this item for one cycle? I hear no one. Is there anyone who would like to speak in against continuing this item? I don't think there is anyone else in the queue to speak against, so we'll move on. Is there any board comment? Seeing no board comment, is there a motion to continue the appeal of the zoning administrator for 4736 and 4740 Grand Avenue South to our May 21st, 2020 meeting? So moved. This is Sandberg. Is there a second? Second, Johannesson. There's a motion and a, a second. Is there any discussion? I'm seeing no discussion. Will the clerk please call the roll? Cooper. Aye. Finlayson. Aye. Hutchins. Aye. Johannesson. Aye. Ogiba. Yes. Sandberg. Yes. Softly. Aye. Wang. Aye. That's eight yay. So that motion passes and uh, that means that the appeal of the zoning administrator for 4736 and 47. 40 Grand Avenue South will be continued one cycle to our May 21st, 2020 Zoning Board of Adjustment meeting. And with that, is there any, um, looks like we have completed all of our items on the agenda for this meeting. I'll ask member, uh, board members and staff if there are any other matters to come before this meeting. I see there's no old or new business. Anyone else? Seeing no further comment, I will declare this meeting adjourned. Our next meeting will be May 21st, 2020. Thank you, everyone.